One of the largest growing problems in America is theft. And the reason it's a problem is because children are no longer being taught that stealing has repercussions and is a problem. Many people borrow things from other people and then they never return them. When I'm given a gift, I am very clear. This is really for you. And if I find that someone likes something in my home, I might do what the Japanese do. One of the guidances I got from my first employer who had lived as a veteran instructor in Japan for more than 30 plus, probably 50, 60, who knows, I can't remember, years, was to never ogle, in other words, never be overly interested in any object in any home that I might get invited to. Because in the countryside, there's not these meeting halls, there's not these coffee shops where we hang out. And openly, the food and coffee in those places are different anyway, so it doesn't matter. But what I can tell you is that in America, we have difficulties. And those difficulties are when people don't listen to the rights of others. So one of the most fundamental gateway sins as a priest and a pagan I see is people thinking they have the rights to take away items from me. So each day I go and I buy these little teas that I love from Weiler's as a company and other vending brands of lemon tea. And what I discover the next day is that someone has actually put their hands through my bags and taken them from me, leaving me with nothing. The other day I bought about six boxes, which would have been about 36 uh, available items that were way on sale over at the ruler store. And by the next day, half of them were gone. And then each day after that, more and more was taken from me. Now as a person of indigency, as a person who's traveling in business, as a person who needs to plan his meals, I am pissed off. Because each day that I buy food for myself out of the money and the stipends that I receive for myself for my mission, I expect to find that food still in my bag so when I go to take that meal, I'm expecting it to be there. But right now I'm not finding property and possessions that belong to me. Things that are being held by me so other people don't get harmed in the world, but also things that belong to me and my future girl. You see, I have the right to have my bags without someone putting their paws in them, their hands in them. We say paws because only an animal steals food. Because the animal doesn't have a conscience about morals or ethics. And when an animal is hungry, they look for food. So you might see crows going through bags that blacks and others have dropped on the ground because they were too lazy to walk 20 feet to the trash. And openly, I'm not picking on them. I'm just saying, this is what I observe on a daily basis. So please don't tell me that when you dump your diaper on the ground, that I'm supposed to pick it up for you. There's a trash can right here in which you can place it. Unless there's some new laws on diapers that I don't know about. But usually, poop goes in the trash. Or down the waste systems of our waterways. And I don't even know what that's called. Our waste management systems. 